Hi, in this video I'm going to go over the settings that you can program with an Evo All using the Flash Link. Now the Flash Link is a, it's becoming a very popular feature for us and our site, definitely for our business as a, in a, as a whole. I mean, on a daily basis we're doing a, a minimum of a dozen of these for customers and, and there's no reason why. Um, because people don't want to purchase a Flash Link, which is basically the tool which allows me to get this image on your screen. Because you need a Flash Link tool which plugs in through a USB cable into my computer then through a four pin data to data connector into the Evo All so that way I can turn on this program and I can access all of these settings. Now a lot of people might want to just buy a T harness like an Evo CHRT5 for instance for their Chrysler Jeep or Ford or whatever. Now once you, if the customer were to buy that, take it home and open up the box and plug in the T harnesses, lo and behold it's not going to work because first it has to be loaded with the firmware for the appropriate year make and model. So with that said, don't buy one unless it's at least programmed, at least for the vehicle. A lot of people don't say that. I try to say it, but of course people don't pay a freaking attention. Um, but please don't be one of those idiots. Make sure that you read. <laughs> but I create these videos because I try to take the, the dumb factor out of everything. Now if you're buying an Evo All, whether you're buying it as a standalone because they don't make a T-harness for your vehicle or if you bought the one with the T-harness solution because there's a lot of them out there. We have them for Toyotas, Nissans, Hondas, Kias. Fords, Chrysler's, Jeeps, GMs, you name it, there's one almost for everything. And that's basically a lot of them from 2007 and later to current of 2015, which is when I'm making this video. Um, currently, it's almost March of 2015. There's almost one for it's for so many of these cars out there. So if there's not one, and you're just going to go hardwired style, hardwired style, so be it. But if you're using a T-harness, it's still going to apply in all these features that I'm going to show you right now are the same for all of them. There is no one system or one year making model that's better for another. Not like a Grand Cherokee is more elaborate than a Liberty just because the, the truck costs twice as much. It's one size fits all folks. That's all it is. So my Evo All options start out like this. You can do door lock controls, trunk release, key bypass, of course you're going to want that. You can turn on and off the heated sink, heats, you got AUX1 and AUX2 which, could, which you can use. Um, I seriously doubt you would but some people might find that of use. I've never used it once. Foot brake output, which is for a manual transmission. Hand brake, similar deal. Uh, door trigger output status. Trunk trigger, hood trigger. I've never turned one of those on, but again, it's there. And I'm here to show you. So if you want to pause the video and get a grip on it, that's fine. But I got to try to keep this video to a minimum because people get bored quickly. Uh, unlock driver door only. What that means is two-stage unlocking. But that's only if you're adding an RF kit or a drone which is the smartphone app because upon itself an Evo Oil does not come with a, a, a remote control. Um, but if you did expand on the system, that's when the, the driver prior, priority unlocking uh, feature right here will come into play. OEM monitoring, I always turn that on. Now here is the part that comes by default and the reason why I said if you buy one of these you have to have it flash because of right now it's, it's not programmed to do standalone remote starting. You have to first turn it on, which is what I do. Now it opens up all these features. So you can disable a second start attempt if your vehicle doesn't run properly, whatever, I've never turned it on. Diesel mode because not everyone is gasoline. Your runtime, you have some choices here. You have three minutes or six minutes in diesel mode. If you have a gas engine, seven minutes, 14 minutes in diesel mode. If you have another one, gas engines, 15 minute runtime or 30 in diesel mode. You have unlock before. Remote start and lock after because some factory alarms like Honda's need to see an unlock, then start, then relock, so otherwise the factory alarm goes berserk. Door open shutdown so that way if you're safety conscious and someone saw your car remote started, suck their hand through the window, open the door, your remote start will automatically stop if it sees that. Hybrid mode, this applies if you have a hybrid engine and that's really all there is to it. So these are the settings that I have available to me and also as well to you. So if you choose to have us program your Evo, that's awesome. I, I welcome you to the business and I thank you for it. These are the settings that are available and I hope this video was helpful and informative as I intended it to be.